Okay guys, so these are the prawns again. These are the ones I have left over. Okay, these are the ones left over and these are the ones that I have finished. These are the ones that I'm actually going to use in my cooking. So let me just let me just put them here for the meantime. Okay, so those are the prawns that I'm actually going to use in my cooking. Yeah. See that I've washed it all and I've taken off the poo and there's spring onions. I've got spring onions here. There's nothing on the board. That's just the wood. I've got spring onions and I've got the red pepper. And this is how the red pepper looks before it's chopped up. Okay, guys. Yeah. So for anybody who's just joining, the prawns. I've already peeled these. There's another video where I actually show you how to do that. But I've done that in this video as well. And I've got my tomatoes. And I beg your pardon, my sweet pepper. These are very, very sweet. Delicious to the taste. Spring onion. And that's what it looks like for anybody who's not used to it. That's what it looks like before it's chopped up. Okay. So I've got my pot. Yeah. That's palm oil in it. I'm okay for it to have the palm oil in it. Yeah, the palm oil has stained it from all of the use. So, I don't know. How am I going to do this? I'm just going to keep this here. <clears throat> I'm just going to keep the camera here for a moment. One second. <clears throat> Okay, I've put the fire on. Yeah. It's a dirty cooker. That's fine. Because I'm actually going to clean it. So that's fine. I'm okay with that. I want to be watching me. So let's see what happens as a result of this video. Okay. So. Put my washing up liquid. And I'm doing this one-handedly. Just washing that out. See, see, that's the poo. See the poo from the langoustines. So anytime that I rest the camera, you know that I'm resting the camera because I need to make use of more of my hands. Because <laughs> I've only got two hands. So when you see me do that, when you see me resting the camera, it's because I actually need to do something with my hands. And that's how it's going to be until I find somebody to assist me with this. So I'm just waiting for the pot to dry. I'm going to use palm oil. If you're one of my sporters, Spartans, Spartans, you would have hear, you would have heard me. You would have heard me. You would have heard me talk about Carantino palm oil before. It's healthy palm oil. It's so healthy that I use it in cooking rice. Actually, I use it in cooking anything that I want. So I'm just gonna, yeah, see that. 
So I washed the pots in front of you so that you guys can actually see that I've washed the pots in front of you. Okay, so I'm just going to put in the oil now. You know, just enough to coat it. Yeah, you just you just need enough to coat it. Okay. Just you just need enough to coat it. Mm -hmm. If if I wasn't recording it. I'd actually let the oil be hotter, you know, so that I can get the sizzle out of it. Mm, that's beautiful. vegetables and then i'm gonna put this in guys this is just a quick meal that anybody can make yeah that's my vegetable seasoning i've used this in a lot of my videos before it's very nice and it's actually quite salty so if you decide to use it please be careful yeah be careful the way you use it because it's actually quite salty all right my lovelies i've prepared a seat for you for when you come. I'm just going to take the prawns now, just a handful, and then I'm going to put them in. Just basically you cook it until it turns pink. You just keep on stirring it. That's lime scale. See that? See your nice fat juicy prawns. You cook them until they change color. Yeah, you cook it until it turns pink. This is a very, very quick, easy dish. As you can see, in just a few seconds, the prawns are going to be cooked. It's not going to take long at all. And then I love to use this. See, they've already got the prawns in it, as you can see. Coconut milk powder mix. Coconut milk powder mix. Oh, my God. Let this phone not fall into this pot. Okay. And then... Yeah. I just put a little bit of coconut powder. You can use as much as you like. I mean... For those of you that cook by measurements, I cook by eye. I cook by eye. That's how I do my cooking. I cook by eye. So if you're going to do your measurements, you can just do a trial run and see how it goes. As you can see, the sauce is ready. See that? For this kind of sauce, once the prawns are cooked, you know that your sauce is ready, really. And just let your vegetables cook down a little bit. Unless you're the kind of person who likes to cook your vegetables until there's nothing left. I mean, 
I like to have it, uh, you know, a little bit crunchy to the taste. So you can see that, guys. Maybe I'll buy another pot for when I'm doing these presentations. But this pot, this is the pot that my mom gave me, and this is the one that I always use. So it's a pot that my mother gave me that I use. If you feel like you want to call it a cauldron, there's nothing that I can say to you. Yeah? So, I'm going to use this as well. The rice noodles. The rice noodles are going to go into the mix. So, let me see if I can find the knife. like comments and subscribe so I've got my knife just cutting the pack yeah. because I'm doing it one handed obviously so you've got your rice noodles see that and then you just pop them in when I was doing my prep, I could have put the noodles in another in another container, but hey, this is the first time I'm doing it like this. And then you just mix everything together. See that? And that's your noodles basically because the rice noodles that I put in there, these rice noodles, they're already cooked. So they're not going to need much more cooking because they're already cooked. Yeah. See, and you can see your prawns are pink now. You can see, can you see? The prawns are actually pink now. So. It's already salty like I said before it's already salty because that seasoning this seasoning this one this one is very very salty so it's already salty really I don't really have to add anything else mm -hmm. because it's already salty mm -hmm. Later on, and then I finish with you guys. And back to my pot. It's just simmering, and I'm gonna turn it down. Turn it down, and I think I might just put in a little bit of water. Just put in some water. Just put in a tiny bit of water. Just tiny bit of water put in. Put that back in there. So that's it, guys. I mean. If you want me to plate it up for you guys, I can plate it up for you guys. But that's it. Students, you know, students, people who don't know how to cook, somebody who wants to impress their boyfriend or girlfriend. There you have it. Very, very quick, simple, easy noodles that you can cook. You know, you can cook to impress. I don't know. I don't know who you want to impress. You know, whoever it may be. And that's cooked. You don't want it to cook more than that. You know, if it cooks any more than this, it's going to be soggy. There you have it. Amazing things happen when I cook food. 
I'm sorry about the mess because it's just me one doing it, filming it, trying to plate it at the same time. But that's it, guys. Your quick, easy noodles. I hope you enjoyed. If you like this, like, comment and subscribe. Everything I do, I do it with the best intention. So I really don't understand why this attack has continued for this long. But God protects me. That's all I can say. It is God that is protecting me. Because up until this moment, I'm still to see the person who's actually going to come forward and do the right thing. But anyway, cooking video. I don't want to go on too long. If you like this, like, comment and subscribe. And then I can do more quick, easy meals. I can do complicated meals. Any kind of meals that you want. Thank you to my new subscribers. Thank you.